hello guys you're welcome again to another after effect tutorials today i want to show you how you can put an object behind a moving object and on a moving background like this so support me on this one like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel do not forget to turn on the notification then come back let's get started the first thing you're gonna need to do is to import your footage that you want to track those objects into so i got this footage from pixel.com so they have amazing videos there for free so you can grab any video of your choice and do the same thing to it. so just follow the tutorial the processes are all the same with your imported video click and drag it into this composition icon that will create a composition from the imported video ctrl d to duplicate it go to your fx and control and search for 3d camera tracker Select the 3D camera tracker and add it to the top layer video and let it do its thing in the background. When the 3D camera tracker is done, you can see that it has placed various points on the wall. As you scroll through, you see that the points also move with the wall. So now it's time for us to add objects and text. Find a point right here. Right click on it, then select create text and camera. That will automatically add a text for you. Let's do another one right here. Right click, add solid. Let's move back and see other places where we can add more objects. So I'm gonna place another solid right here. Right click again and create a solid. Right click right here and create a text. I'm going to do one more, right click and then add new solid. So now we have various objects on this wall. We're going to edit the text. Move your time indicator forward in time to the point where you can see the text in full screen. Select the first text layer you created. Pick the text tool, highlight on the text and make changes to all. You can type in anything you want. You can adjust the position, scale, and all other text properties, including rotation. I'm also going to move right here and make changes to the second text layer. On the character tab, you can make change to the text font, colors, whatever you want to change right here is possible. So let's change the color of this one to something. If this is what you want, you can leave it like this and then move to the next stage to put the character in front of the object but i'm gonna quickly show you one simple trick to replace these solids to any object of your choice so i'm gonna switch this to the uh, project manager window then i'm gonna import some couple of images that i designed myself so i'm gonna select these images and bring them into my project so let's try to replace this first solid right here by the right so we're gonna select the solid first on the timeline then you hold down your alt key on window or option key on mac then you select the poster or images or object or video you want to place at the same spot where the solid is click and drag it on top of the solid layer on your timeline you can see it has replaced that so if you scroll through now, you see that it's moving according to what you have tracked before. So you can also scale this down if you want to. So I'll hit S on my keyboard to quickly scale this down to about 50%. You can see, so you can also do the same thing to this very particular solid to your left. So let's crop to that point. Select your solid on your timeline. Then select the image from the project manager window. Hold Option key or Alt key on your keyboard, drag and drop it into the timeline on top of the same layer to which you want to replace. 
you can see it has automatically replaced that beautiful so basically we have added solid or objects on the moving background so now if you scrub through the background you can see that some of these objects are appearing on top of the guy that is moving through the in between the walls so to fix that select the video from the bottom right here and bring it to the top of the layer hierarchy yes do not worry that is going to hide all you have done so double click on the footage itself to open up the roto brush window so right here we're going to pick the roto brush so we have the roto brush now so if you hold your control down and right click that will change the size of your brush so i'm going to leave it to this size so i'm going to start from frame zero here mine is visible then i'll just roughly draw around the character it must not be perfect you can see it has automatically selected the subject so we can hold option key here to remove this selection we don't want this once you have your targeted object selected like this with the roto brush hit space bar on your keyboard to let after effect do the rest of the job right now we're going to go back to our main composition preview window as you can see automatically the background has been removed and now if you scroll through all your images your text will appear behind the moving object so that is it guys this is how you can composite your text into a moving background and let them appear behind a moving object in your videos if you find this tutorial useful please hit the like button that will help the algorithm suggest this video to more people so until i see you again on the next one my name is ssb otaru for motion digit studios